thing. Over the last few videos, I showed how I automated basically almost everything in that office, including the heating, some of the lights, and a bunch of other little small automations. However, there's a few more steps left before I can say I'm done. And those steps include, first, the ceiling lights need to be automated as well when I go in and go out. And the challenge there is that those lights are not smart at all. Those are lights mounted on the ceiling connected to a regular light switch. And to automate this, we will use this little device, which is made by a company called Shelly that makes a bunch of really cool uh, smart switches that you can just put inside the wall itself. So let's get started. The Shelly is a smart little switch that can be actually used fully local to HTTP requests to the device. It connects to the Wi-Fi and communicates over the lo local network. Each Shelly basically has two different connections to various devices. It can basically emulate a light switch. It can either emulate it via HTTP request to the device itself and turn on and off the relay, or it can connect to the actual physical light switch, which can control it outside. So to whoever uses um, the light switch, they don't even know they're actually operating a smart relay connected to the Wi-Fi. It took me a little while to figure out how to wire the Shelly to the wall. I wouldn't recommend doing it yourself, but I'd ask a certified electrician to help you. And in fact, I asked my friend Igor to help me set it up. Once you set up the Shelly, make sure to set it up with the um, mobile app and connect it to the Wi-Fi. And once you have that, actually Home Assistant finds the Shelly by itself. And then you can rename the device and uh, give it the functionality you want to use. Don't worry, we'll go over all of that in the video a little bit further. First, let's check if the switch has the ground wire, because sometimes the ground wire goes directly to the light bulb and not to the switch itself. Sometimes you can find the control box not far from the switch that has all three wires that you need. If you have ground inside the switch, you are in luck. Otherwise, look for the control box or set up the Shelly directly on the light bulb. Next, expose the wires in the control box and find which wires are the line, the ground and the neutral ones. Also, you need to find out which wires go to the power grid and or the switches and which wires go directly to the light because you will connect those to different parts of the Shelly. Before connecting anything to the power grid, make sure to turn off the electricity in the room. Next, attach the Shelly to the line wire and the neutral wire to the power grid on one side and the light itself to the line one on the Shelly. After that, connect the wire that comes from the switch to the SW1 connector. Once everything is connected, turn on the electricity and make sure the physical switch still works. At this point, it's actually the switch controlling the Shelly and the Shelly controlling the light. Turn off the electricity in the room again before you connect everything back together. Once everything is nice and tight, you can connect the electricity again and let's move on to setting up the Shelly in the mobile app. Once we launch the Shelly app, the new devices should appear on the top. Once you see the device, click on and off to make sure it's the right device and then click to add. Choose a room, mark it as a light and then give it a name. Don't worry about those settings too much because Home Assistant will have its own name, room and other settings. Once we have all the devices set up, make sure to update them to the latest firmware because that will make it easier for Home Assistant to find them. It might take a few seconds to update and we have everything set up. Okay, now that we have installed the Shellys into the wall and connected them to the power grid and installed them in the, or connected them in the app to our Wi-Fi, 
they should actually appear in Home Assistant by themselves. Let's go set them up. Configuration, integration, and we see all the shell is here. Just click configure, submit, and choose where the shelly is. Honestly, I'm not sure what, which one of those is well, so we'll just guess. I think that would be probably hall. That is probably studio. And then that one is also hall. Now, once they're set up, we can go in the dashboard and see what they actually switch. So that is correctly hall. That is here in the studio. Actually, no, that one is here in the studio. So let's move that one to the studio. And the other one, we move to the hall. Okay. Great. So now this is studio LED track. The energy and the power have been used for power consumption, so we will just rename them, but we we'll, won't do anything with them now. Okay, now we'll refresh, and we should have all the lights here, including the track, the ceiling light, the three hall lights, and all the energy consumption as well. Isn't that super cool? Now that we have all those lights set up, let's add them to the automation. Now, all those shellies are considered switches and not lights. So if they would be lights, our command of light turn off all would turn them off as well. But unfortunately, by default, they're switches, kind of like power switches. So they're not included in uh, light turn on and off. There is a way inside Home Assistant to define them as lights, even though internally they are considered switches, but it's outside of the scope of this video. And so to actually turn them on and off, what we do is we go into the automation, go into office turn on and enable another action of service, switch turn on and choose all the shellies. Now we go to the office turn off and do the same thing again, but this time turn off. Okay, now that we have them set up in the automation, we can uh, test it out. And to do that, we just turn off the office and all the lights turned off. Now we switch on the office and all the lights turned on. To make the lighting for the video a little bit more dramatic, will turn off just the ceiling light. Okay, awesome. Now that is set up, we have the shell is working. We have the office turning on and off based on entering or exiting uh, the office. Okay, that's it. Now, when I enter the office, the lights in the office turn on, including the ceiling lights, including the heating, including the Philips Hue bulbs I have behind me and using uh, Xiaomi door sensor to detect when the door is open or closed and use an emotion sensor to detect if I'm entering the office or leaving. That whole setup is basically done. The last thing that the last thing that's left is to automate the video light I have here when I have a video call. And now we already did in a previous video an automation of the on air light that turns on the moment the webcam or my DSLR is connected to the computer and I'm streaming on Zoom. However, that light video light is using Bluetooth to communicate and there's no integration in Home Assistant, which is a shame. It's a Godox light um, and I want to automate that as well. And so in the next video, I'm going to show you how to reverse engineer the Bluetooth protocol of the light and add it to Home Assistant so that it could be controlled automatically with Home Assistant as well. That's it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video almost as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you did, a subscribe would be amazing. If you didn't, 
please leave a comment down below so I will know why you didn't like that video. That's it and see you in the next one.